Hi, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. We've erased the penciled spine of your design here. And now what we're going to do is take your point three and start to cut in and cross hatch by going in one direction. So just cross hatch close to the edge. This is one of those points where you don't want to go outside the line. Everyone has a different technique for doing this sort of work, so if you've got a different method of just filling in the space, Feel free to do it. I just do it in one direction and just cut closer and closer to the outline of the ribbon. And after this, I'm going to cut in with a thicker. Celts, I say this every time, I think the Celts were interested in the number three because it was a reflection of the natural phenomena of the sun and the moon when they're at their extremities. When the sun is at a solstice point, it rises and sets for three days at about the same spot in the, on the horizon. And the moon seems to stay full for three days and new for three days but every day that it's changing and every day that the sun is not at a solstice point it comes up at a fraction of a degree at a different spot on the horizon so that three is a reflection of the two celestial bodies that humans are dependent on for a good harvest. You have to know when your planting season is and plants are more optimally you'll get more of an optimal harvest and you'll have a better growing season if you grow at certain points. There, that looks good. You want to make it consistent. Take your point seven pigment liner and start filling in all the spots you missed. Going in the opposite direction will fill it up a little faster for the cross edge.
And basically you just finish this off. Once I've shown you almost all the patterns that are found on this cross, the Aberlemno Kirkyard cross, I'm going to show you how to draw the entire interlace that makes up the Celtic cross itself. So once you're done, just do the other lines with your seven, like this. There you go. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and visit my site at bellchamber.net. And thank you for watching.